and welcome to a figure review, uh, this time for a series I haven't reviewed anything from before, and that is Transformers. Namely Transformers Prime, but you know, I've never done Transformers review uh, before. Specifically, this is a Vehicon, or Vehicon, from the Transformers Prime cartoon, I believe. Um, as you can see, there's a DVD included, that's the Vehicon there, which we shall take a look at in a second. There are its stats, if you want to pause to look. And it's a deluxe class, as you can see there. That's the blurb. Uh, if you want to read, again, uh, paraphrasing it, essentially, Vehicons, the kind of drones that the Decepticons use. There's kind of lots of them, they're mass produced. And uh, that's, you know, the uh, an image of Transformers Prime. So, without further ado, let's get to opening this. Okay, as you can see, there's a DVD that comes with it that has an episode, I believe, uh, Loose Cannons. Full episode DVD. Um, I'm obviously not going to take that out right now because, well, I'm not obviously not going to show you the DVD. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's It's nice to have something that kind of explains who the character is. Um, I'm aware that some series have a comic that comes with the Transformer. I'd have preferred that, but equally a DVD is pretty cool because you get to see the TV series and you know the Transformer itself in action, and of course you get the uh, instructions for transforming, which I shall be reading in a second. But if you want a quick look at it, uh, maybe look online. That's probably easier. But yeah, so put that over there. I know for the thing itself. First, let's pull up the blaster. Uh, that's pretty damn cool. It apparently snaps on. Um, although actually saying it looks pretty cool, apart from this side, where it just shows it's hollow and stuff. Um, again, I'm sure it looks good when it's snapped on, and we'll see that in a second, but a bit disappointing that, you know, it's not actually a gun, it's kind of half a gun. Uh, right, and to get the vehicle on it, uh, give me a moment. Okay, I'm back, uh, and here it is. That's a pretty damn cool car there. Uh, slightly reminiscent of the Batmobile, slightly, obviously not exactly a Batmobile, um, as that would be a bit plagiaristic. But you know, it's got pretty cool wheels, it's very black. Uh, headline headlights are uh, to me they look slightly purpley, but on camera they're just coming out as white. And uh, the spoiler is incredible. That's a very nice vehicle mode there. Uh, part of the reason I bought this, and part of the reason is because I really like the robot mode as well. So, without further ado, let's get to transforming it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I transformed that off camera because obviously I'd never transformed it before so I thought I'd try and follow the instructions as best I could uh, and here he is, here is uh, the Viacon with his gun uh, in in hand um, well, right, well a rundown I guess of articulation first of all uh, his head can move slightly uh, he has back and forth motion and shoulder joints as you can see there, um, obviously on both sides, no hip swivel obviously. Um, he has knee joints, as you can see here, and um, hip joints, and his, well, his feet are sort of, well, they go up and down, but there's not much motion there. But, overall, he's a pretty damn cool looking robot, to be honest. Uh, I am slightly disappointed with the weird arms because they kind of look really thin and stuff and from different sides they kind of just look like panelling, which it is really. Um, but for the most part he's pretty damn cool. He's quite menacing looking, I suppose. Uh, I'll just lower the camera a bit more to his height and get a better look at him. He's certainly quite a... Um, He's quite a cool looking uh, transformer, and I shall try and transform him back into the car in a second. 
so you'll see it in reverse in a way. But yeah, um, he's pretty cool. He's kind of he's not massively built, but he's not ultra lanky either. So that's pretty cool. His feet are pretty uh, sturdy, obviously. Uh, although you can't pull too many pauses with this guy. But you know, as a as just a display piece or whatever, he's he's pretty damn cool. Um, and the gun kind of makes it look pretty cool as well. So, um, I would say, in conclusion, that uh, I would give this Transformer an 8 out of 10. He's... I, I'd say he's pretty cool. And obviously, um, well, if you sort of wanted to recreate stuff, uh, scenes from the show, I guess you'd end up buying lots of these, uh, as they're kind of the bad guy army, as it were. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I may be doing some more Transformers reviews at some point in the future. Uh, and maybe subscribe if, if you haven't already because that would be cool and stuff. And until next time, goodbye.